Hello mother funsters and welcome to part 22 of Zelda Ocarina of Time walkthrough let's play. My name is Mala. Last time we were doing the forest temple and this time we're going to see if we can't finish the forest temple. Enjoy. Continue. So yeah, I suppose once you're used to the glitches, playing the game through normally must seem really like slow and boring. <laughs> so I, I see where you're coming from there. Um, Oh no, I'm taking this the wrong way. I normally don't get this first time, although it has happened. Um, I normally just use the first try just to get that blue one out of the way. I don't know what the point of it is, because it's literally not useful. Um, I must have played this game about more than 30 times. Uh, probably about 40 if you include Master Quest. Um, I know it quite well, but I haven't played it for about 3 years, so I'm a tad rusty. And I don't think I'm getting this in time. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm not making this in time. I mean, it's not even the major skips, it's just the small optimizations that just uh, become muscle memory. What you mean, like, um, that thing where you use a bomb and you fly across Hyrule Field, for example? Because that definitely makes the game faster. It's actually really saddening. I'm not sure I follow. What's saddening, dude? Um, and there is a lot of waiting around in this game um, if you don't do the glitches. So I do see what you mean. Um, it's kind of, it's not great that they implemented so much waiting in their game design. It's kind of not good, but um, it's still a great game. My favourite game. But I think we've got this. We've got 40 seconds remaining uh, to do something that should only take us about less than 10. Right, cool. No worries. Here we go! I mean, it's my favourite game to run, but every now and again I like to wipe my mind of everything I know. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Um, it's like reading a good book or watching a good film with a, like um, um, amazing twist in it. And you're like, right, once you know the twist, there's not, like you can't unlearn it. You kind of wish that you could just reset your memory and watch it again for the first time, kind of thing. I get that with Old Boy. If you've ever seen that, I mean the Korean version, not the American version. Um, that is a brilliant film. It is kind of fun to watch the second time after you know the twist because it kind of changes the uh, it kind of changes the meaning of the film. Don't worry, I'm not going to spoil it. But um, if you haven't watched it, I recommend it. But that twist in that film is massive. <laughs> well, I think are we nearly done. I think we may have got more two more hits on this guy. Oh, I think I've missed this one. No. Right. So, Ocarina of Time is your favourite game as well. Good times. Um, do you mind if I ask how old you were when it came out? Um, you don't have to tell me. Um, I mean, were you even alive when it came out? Do you mind if I ask? Um, I'm just. Um, I've. I've been asking a few people that come along on the script on the stream. Um, I just find it interesting, uh, especially with people who weren't alive when it came out and their first experience of the game was when it came out on the 3DS. Um, I don't know, I just find that kind of interesting, because obviously the 3DS changed a lot of things and made things a little bit just less tedious, especially in like the Water Temple, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, what do we need? Um, well, let's just get rid of Din's Fire, just so we don't accidentally use it. Um, we've got the last of the four Post Sisters left. And the creepy noise that she makes. I was born after, but my dad made me made sure I played the original when I was six. What a legend! I think I like your dad. <laughs> I think I might have to do the same when I have kids. I'll be like, look, I know that there's some really nice, uh, like, more modern games out today, but like, I need you to play this game, dude. Right. Oh, she took a while to come back. Meg. This boss is a little bit easy once you know the thing about her spinning around. 
it is quite funny watching um, blind let's plays that don't know it. <laughs> You're like, oh my god, just kill the one that spins. <laughs> They're sitting wasting all their arrows. Uh, happy days though. I do like watching blind let's plays of this game sometimes. It just makes me happy to watch someone's first experience of the game. Um, my favourite bit watching and uh, it just it's worth watching a let's play just for the look on their face is you know the bit where uh, right at the end where Ganon comes out and you see the look on their face as uh, as um, Ganondorf turns into Ganon it's just it's brilliant it's worth watching a let's play just for the look on their face if they've never if they've never played it before it's absolutely amazing oh I missed it never mind we won't need it Um, but I do. I love watching people play this game uh, almost as much as I love playing it. Um, I don't know um, if uh, you know, but um, I upgraded my internet quite recently. Before I just had um, normal dial-up um, internet, and the quality of my stream wasn't very good. And I've been trying to get fibre for the longest time. I really was, and um, I was having quite a lot of problems sorting it out. It took me a couple, quite a few months uh, to basically sort it out, and I basically said to myself, as a reward, when I finally get fibre, I'm going to play all the 3D Zelda games, like basically one after another on my stream. Um, the time frame for this game, for Ocarina of Time, you'll see at the bottom, uh, as you know, on my little panels. And basically, once I've completed this game, I'm not going to go for a full complete, I'm just going to um, beat the game, basically. Uh, and then I'm going to do Majora's Mask, then Wind Waker, then Twilight Princess, and then Skyward Sword. Uh, I'm going to go through all of them. I'm not going to do um, the new one, um, Breath of the Wild, just purely because I haven't got it. Um, I haven't been able to justify buying a Switch just to play that game as much as I know I'll love it. Um, I have played a little bit of it around friends' houses. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you like watching 3D Zelda games, um, for the next couple of months, uh, you you want to be here. <laughs> if I don't want to, uh, I don't want to um, big myself up too much. But um, I really, really do love the games, and they will all be games I know. Apart from Majora's Mask, I've only played Majora's Mask once before, so that might be a little bit like, okay, what the fuck am I doing? Where am I going? Kind of thing. But other than that, I know the games really well. Um, but this is my favourite. Probably Wind Waker, followed by Wind Waker. I think. Um, and this is actually my second favourite temple in Ocarina. I know a lot of people aren't that keen on the Forest Temple, but I just love the atmosphere here. I really do. Um, followed by the, 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 the Shadow Temple is my favourite. Um, I don't know what your favourite temple is. What do you reckon? Um, some people say the Spirit. Didn't buy Breath of the Wild and a Switch till last month for the same reason. But with Odyssey and Smash coming, I thought I'd bite the bullet. Yeah, there are actually quite a lot of people I know that are basically in exactly the same boat. Um, completely agree where you're coming from there. Um, if I was into Smash, I'd probably agree. But I'm not that interested in Smash anymore. I mean, I had Melee. I had Melee, um, and I loved Melee. But I'm not so keen on the newer Smashes. I'm, I'm not that into them. Um, Odyssey is amazing. It uh, looks absolutely fantastic. But I still can't justify buying a Switch just for those two games. If it was for free, maybe I'd think about it. Now this boss is amazing on the 3DS version with the gyro controls because you can literally just spin around, it's amazing. This could get interesting because this controller is a bit weird. There he is. There he is. Phantom Ganon. Let's do this. Right. Uh, yes, we need this. And uh, which one is it? Oh, it's this one, is it? The true one has like a diamond on the forehead of the horse, but it's kind of hard to see. This boss, I have to say, as much fun as it is on the 3DS version, this boss is really easy on the 3DS version because of the gyro controls. Right, 
Where are you coming? That's not the right one. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Easy. Alright, Phantom Ganon. It's an evil ghost of the Forest Temple. He comes out of one of the pictures. Answer his magic attacks with an attack of your own. Now, I think this mechanic was really cool when they first did it. Which is now. But, they've used it too much. I think they've overdone it a little bit in the Zelda games. Because, like, this whole, like, tennis game... I mean, it's used twice in this game. And it's used so many times in the other Zelda games. It kind of... It's kind of old now. Oh. I always play this with a bottle. I used to as well, until for some reason on one particular playthrough, I had a huge amount of problem with the bottle. Um, and I've actually got only four bottles. So, unless I actually use one of these bottles, I'm just going to use the sword. <laughs> I don't know why it's being weird, though. Like, this... This fight is a little bit weird, because um, sometimes it's like, oh, we're not going to work, we're only going to send it off in weird directions like it is there, and other times it's like, no, we're perfect. Um, this fight is a bit weird when it comes to that. I think that's just generally um, the tennis game. Uh, it's with all the games, it's a bit weird. I mean, it, obviously it gradually gets better. Right, we got him. Uh, if you're moving, it will have you to check. So that's probably what I've been doing wrong in my previous playthroughs. Oh dear. I was just a bit too close to him there, I think. Not ideal. Not ideal. But I mean, what you do this in Wind Waker with um, Dark Ganon. Um... You do it in... You do do this in Twilight Princess, don't you? I think. Although it's not for as long. I'm just trying to think if it's... I think they got rid of it for Skyward Sword. I liked Skyward Sword. A lot of people really had a lot of hate for it. Apart from Fee, who I do agree is a massive pain in the arse. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good game. Ah. Oh. How did we miss? Alright, we got this. Done it. No worries. Happy days. So that's the forest temple complete. Hey kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. Hmm. But, you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. Patronise me, why don't you, Ganondorf? What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. Lovely times. Lovely times. So we get our heart piece, and then we go on a massive expedition dump. If I remember, expedition. Exposition is the word I was looking for. <laughs> I knew that didn't sound right when I said it. This is the PAL version. Is this the PAL? PAL. Um. Sorry, mate, I'm not 100% sure what you mean. Um, maybe I'm a little bit behind on the lingo. I'm kind of an old man. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Do elaborate, though. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you. Because, um, because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Surya, the sage of the Forest Temple. Pal, is the European television format? Of course it is. I am actually not sure. Um... I think it might be. Uh, I always believed that you would come because I know you. Having said that, I'm kind of hoping this is the American version because the um, music in the Fire Temple is amazing and they took it out for the European release because it's got um, some music in it that's a little bit racially insensitive. It's actually the other way around thinking about it. I think it's the European version that has the cool music in it. Um, it's a shame as well because it's just, it's so haunting. 
you don't have to explain it to me because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. It's only the US and Japan 1.0 have that music. I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now, please take this medallion. I really hope that I've got the version with that creepy music in it because um, I really, really like it. Um, it's a shame that it's a bit racially insensitive though. Um, I think maybe uh, Nintendo didn't think it through, uh, but it is really haunting. Yeah, it does. I get a lot of slowdown uh, when I'm fighting certain enemies, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, in fact, yes, this is the European version. I specifically went for the European version, and now I'm kind of regretting it. But never mind. Uh, so we've received the Forest Medallion. So Rhea awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Now, I'm just going to um, take a few seconds out to... Well, end that session there. Thank you very much for watching. Do like and subscribe. You can find me on Twitch. Uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash mela21. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter. It's at mela211. And uh, well, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.